So, how would you describe your present relationship with God? Sound familiar? That was one of the questions I shared with you in the little booklet on the Synod that the bishop talked about last week in his taped sermon. Well, they finally showed up on Friday. So don't leave without one of these. They're at the exits. What did you think of the gospel? One of the best. Personally, I'd like to change channels. <laughs> because Jesus says, bless the poor, hungry, the weeping, the hated, and woe to you who are rich, well-fed, laughing, loved. I fit into the second category a lot more than the first. There's a great challenge in that message. Now if you tie it in with the first reading, it makes a little sense about the whole thing. Jeremiah chapter 17, it began, Woe to those who trust in human beings. Cursed, he says. Happy those whose trust is in God. I have not been on the Super Bowl. But two weeks ago, I was in a pool for the playoff games, and I actually broke even, I think. <laughs> it was another miracle. You've heard about some of these huge bets that are out there? Somebody bet a million dollars on Cincinnati. Somebody bet five million. Pretty high-profile guy. He's not hiding it. I think he calls himself Mattress Mac. He's got a big mattress business, and he uses things like this for promotion. Talk about having some skin in the game. Now, he stands to win $8 million, I believe. But it's a bet. There's so much going on. We got the Olympics. We got the Super Bowl. We got Valentine's Day tomorrow. There is so much going on. These are interesting days for me. My mother passed away on Valentine's Day, 2006. My dad, four years older than mom, some people were saying, oh, He's not going to last long. Three years. The day before Valentine's Day, he finally died. How's that? There's so much going on. We've got this synod effort. The bishop's calling us. Just tap some shoulders. Ask folks what they think about the church. What's good? What's bad? How can we improve? But it's really about us coming together and thinking and probing. How can we be more faithful to the gospel? How can we be more, more responsive to the needs of the world around us? So much going on. This week, I'm going to be joining most of the priests of the diocese for a retreat from Monday evening to Thursday noon, all about realigning resources for mission. All this stuff. Somehow, I have to keep asking myself, what's really important? What's really important? Don't forget the ice is good. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
we can get so wrapped up in these things. Like the ice cream cone they talked about with the kids, you know, it's gone. Then what? Then what? What well, was the next big thing? Then what? Oh my gosh. This is the last football game. Oh, we've got March Madness coming. Then what? Oh, it's baseball. Then what? You hear those words from St. Paul in that second reading? It's 1 Corinthians chapter 15. If for this life only we've hoped in Christ, we are the most pitiable of people. There's a rumor of war. We read about that in the Gospel according to Matthew. There'll be wars and rumors of wars. But that's not the end. There's still more to come. Please pray for peace. Please pray a rosary. Historical, historically, it's been a dramatically powerful prayer for peace. Live your lives. Enjoy the Olympics, enjoy the game, have a beautiful Valentine's Day. But don't forget about the things that are really important. If you bet on the Super Bowl, I suggest you keep your bet a little lower than five million. <laughs> if you win, I suggest you remember our fundraising campaign. <laughs> But far, far beyond dollars. Bet. Bet your life on Him. On what really lasts. Not on comfort. Not on popularity. Certainly not on power. But bet on love and mercy and peace. Bet on Jesus' promise to be with us always. Bet that you've got more going for you than just yourself. That's a bet you can't lose. May God bless us all.